Hello, today we're going to talk about creating a Demers Eye template. Okay, so for those of you that don't have it, a link on your home page or if you're at work and you don't have it already on your desktop or your um, home computer with the cat card reader, the link is right here. You can pause the video and type it. In this case, I've already pulled this site up. And this is going to be the site that's going to come up when you pull it up. So you're going to click on Demers Eye Employee Self Services. You're going to click on template. As you can see, there's time entry templates, create time card. So we're going to create a template. All right, so template name, we're going to call this sample, but you can label it whatever you want. You can even name it your name. Time period, it doesn't matter what you put in there because you want to just it's just for creating a template comment. It's up to you if you want to put a comment that it's for fiscal year 2018, 2019, either way. All right, so then you're going to get your project code from your timekeeper or your NCOIC. And you're going to click that in, copy paste it, or type it in individually. Okay, then you're going to pick your task code. In this case, we're going to choose GBAA underscore. underscore. Then I want you to click on the magnifying glass and it'll show you what comes up. We're going to click quick select and it's going to fill it in for you. Type is regular. Person type, it's going to ask you for um, active duty. All right, I made a spelling error. All right, so straight time regular. So you click on that. Personal type, in my case, it's active duty. Um, you could be civilian and put it in. Then you want to make sure to put a uh, placeholder here. Okay, then we're going to type in the project code again. Next task code we're going to choose, we're going to take FALB underscore. And then you're going to click on your magnifying glass again. Okay, and it's going to give you medical staff training. So that's anything that's related to training. Then again, it's regular. And we're going to choose active duty again. And again, don't forget your placeholders. Okay, we're going to try this again. We're going to put a couple in here. I'm just doing this to show you. All right, we're going to choose this task code. Now click in the task name on this one, and it'll autofill. So TJC, Joint Commission. So if you're doing anything Joint Commission related, you would use this code. Again, click here, Active Duty, and put a placeholder in. Then we're going to click Apply. And this is going to save your template, and that's how you create a template.